Hello everyone and welcome to Configmas 2024 and the Deployment Research YouTube channel. My name is Johan Arvid Mark and in this part 2 of our automation series you will learn how to rapidly deploy a config manager task sequence to multiple VMs spread over multiple Hyper-V hosts. This is really useful for any type of rapid testing or large scale testing or simply if you have a bunch of VDI machines that you want to deploy and you would like to have the flexibility that the sequence will give you in comparison to maybe just cloning a template. And that means, of course, demo time. Like in uh, the first part, I have a config manual sequence I would like to deploy. This is a sequence that deploys a Windows 11 image. This particular sequence is deployed to a few collections, but this is the one that I'm using right now that has a required deployment to this collection. If I go to collection or that collection, you can see that it's currently empty. There are no items in it. Now, I also have a few Hyper-V hosts that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you them here. So Rogue 38, 39 and 40, those are the Hyper-V hosts I'll be using. If I go over to my PowerShell script here, like in part one, I'm going to need a bootable media. I'm going to mount that to the virtual machines I create and make sure they boot from it. So I need to create those first. So I'm going to run that script that will create a bootable media, an ISO file. And then when that one is done, I'm going to make sure to configure it so it doesn't prompt for any key press when you boot up a virtual machine, which is otherwise the default behavior of a config manager media. So the ISO file is created, and now I'm going to generate the no prompt version of that ISO. So that means I have in my setup folder here, I have these two files created, and this is the one I'm going to use. In addition to this, in the script, I have a few settings for the virtual machines I'm about to create. I have a naming prefix. I have a 4 gig of memory for each of them, 240 gig hard drive, two CPUs, what network to use, what boot image to use, how many VMs to create per Hyper-V host, and where to create them. And this is a just a little simple way to generate a list of different servers following a naming convention. So if I run these here and check the list of servers I got back, you will see that this particular array now holds the name of these three Hyper-V hosts I want to use. Before working with Hyper-V host, it does make sense to make sure that you can correctly connect to them through remote PowerShell because that's what I'm using. So I'm going to do a quick test just to make sure to see, all right, can I connect to them and, for example, get how much, how much memory they have each. So each of these Hyper-V hosts has 128 gig of RAM. Then I need to copy the boot image to each Hyper-V host. This Hyper-V host is behind a remote connection, a throttle connection, so it's going to take a little bit. But due to the magic of video editing, I will make sure to just shorten that time frame for you. So I'm going to do that copying and sit tight. Then I'm going to make sure that each of these Hyper-V hosts have the Chicago 1 virtual switch. So I have a script block that knows how to create the virtual switch and I'm running that script block on each server in my list of servers. So this script will go each to out to each Hyper-V host, and if that switch doesn't exist, it's going to head and create it. So I have run this script before, so that switch already existed, so I'm good to continue. And then I'm going to create a list of the virtual machines I'd like to build. So this is a loop that generates a unique MAC address per host for each virtual machine and generates basically an array of all information that I need for the virtual machines. So if I select this section here, and run it, Oh, 
It's going to build up that array for me. So now I have a virtual machine list. This is what I'm going to build later. A long list of machines on different hosts that contains the information I need for now. Now, before I can create the virtual machines, I need to import that list to Config Manager. So for each virtual machine in that list, I'm going to import that into the site server into that collection. And as always, or as I showed you last time, it does take Config Manager a while to create these devices when you import them. So I put in a wait here. And then once again, I'm forcing an update on my target collection just to speed up things a little bit. So I'm going to head and run this to import these VMs into Config Manager. And like the copying of the ISO file, this is going to take a bit. I will simply edit out the, the weight there. So now the import is completed and I can compare the amount of VMs that I have in my list with the amount I actually have in that collection. So if I run this little snippet here, it will tell me whether the import was successful or not. And also now if I go back to the config manager console and do a refresh, here are now 30 virtual machines and each of them has a generated MAC address based on the host and also a unique ID per host. If I go back to the script, the next snippet runs a little script block that goes ahead and creates each VM or multiple VMs on each host. So just to show you, on these three hosts, there are no virtual machines. And after running this snippet here, it will start to create a bunch of virtual machines. 10 per host, 3 hosts, making 30. All right, the virtual machines are created. Let's go over to the host or hosts. And sure enough, for each IPv host, I now have 10 different virtual machines. Final step is go back to the script and simply start them. In this case, I have added a 10 second delay in between each just to simulate what it usually would be if you start up 30 physical devices because it's pretty hard to power them on all at the same time. So, I'm going to run this snippet here that will start to power on those virtual machines. So, it started with um, this one on Rogue 38. So, I'm going to jump over to that one. And we can see that we now have the first virtual machine running, now the second one starting, and each of these virtual machines are configured to use the Chicago One network. They are configured to use that ISO file and they have the memory and CPU specification that are configured. If I double click this one just to take a look to what's going on, you can see that it already started up and start to deploy my Windows 11 sequence. Can move that one to the side. Can take this one here. And here they are. A solution that remotely builds a bunch of machines, virtual machines, over a few different Hyper-V hosts. So after about an hour or so, 
all of these will be deployed across these different IPv hosts. Of course, I could change the script to start them basically all hosts at the same time, or however you want to do it. But long story short, if I would have done this manually, it would take me quite some time compared to just running a script. So I'm hoping that giving you some automation uh, inspiration. Thank you so much for joining. You will find links uh, to the scripts in the description below. But other than that, thank you for uh, joining us and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.